speaker will be Mr. Eric Johnson. Good evening, everyone. Appreciate you having me here. I know it's bad weather out there, and I appreciate you guys coming out. Um, Mark, I met Mark the other day. He's a great guy. I like what he has to say. And I think whether you vote for me, you vote for Mark, you vote for Terry, I think we got some great people in Hayhar, so I'm happy to be a part of the team you know, for our education, for our district, too. Give you a little background. Again, my name is Eric Johnson. I'm running for the District 2 Board of Education seat in Lowndes County Schools. Give you a little background. My family moved here in 1991. My father was in the Air Force, so he was finishing up his military career in 1991. So we, he retired here in Lyons County. I attended Hay Higher Middle School. I met my future wife, Tisha Weatherington, in eighth grade at Hay Higher Middle School. And we both went off to Lyons High School. I played soccer for Lyons High School. She was in the Georgia Division. Um, we enjoyed our time at Lyons. I graduated from Lyons. From there, I went to the Citadel, in South Carolina, um, pursued a military education there. Um, and in 2006, I went back to Georgia to get an MBA in uh, finance. And during that time, once I graduated from the uh, University of Georgia, my wife, I moved to Atlanta. Um, I also pursued careers in corporate America. I worked for Equifax as a project manager, and IG Investment Manager as an investment manager, and she worked for Financial Financial. So, but long story short, in 2009, we started having kids and we decided, you know, we wanted to move back here to the Austin Georgia. You know, we grew up here, our families were from here, and we wanted our kids to grow up in the school system. You know, I grew up here, she grew up here. So we moved back, and since 2009, I've worked for Guardian Bank in the Austin Georgia as a commercial lender. And what that has done in the last five years, I've been able to, similar to what Mark says, is, you know, also the last five years have been tough for both Lowndes County Schools and Velocity City Schools. And, now I've been able to take, I was talking to Jim earlier, when business owners come to my office and they say, Eric, I'm in desperate need here, and you know, these, are, these are rough times right here, and my business is about to close, how can you help me? How, how can you help me find innovative and creative ways to keep the, keep the lights on and keep me keep these people that I work for me employed? So, you know, as a, as a community banker, that's one of the great things I've been able to do is that I also have an MBA in finance from the University of Georgia. I just basically sit down there with that bar and explain to him, and Mr. Barr, let, let's sit down and let's see what can we do to help you? What can we do to make, make your business better? You know, I, we, we run budgets, we look at financial statements all day long. At the end of the day, we need to find ways, creative ways to keep funding, keep, you, keep your lights on. And that's, you know, we're, we're doing that in the business world, in the private sector, you know, you know, it's competitive. Every day you're competing for your job and you're competing in the same business as an organization. I, I think that, that kind of attitude, that kind of experience is something you need. As a, board, as a board member, because you can come in, and honestly, the Lyons County School is a $100 million organization. It's the fourth largest employer in this town, so we all have a best interest in making sure Lyons County Schools and Lyons City Schools are, are viable for organization. Um, I'm running for this seat because I believe in this community, our youth, and the educators who teach and mentor them. Um, upon finishing my leadership allowance in 2011, Judge, Judge McClain once told me, he said, Eric, you guys are the future leaders of this community, and I encourage you to find something in this community that you're passionate about, and try to put all your efforts towards that, versus trying to go and sit on you know, multiple boards as you'll have less of an impact. And that really resonated with me, and I thought, you know what, he's right. I want to find something that I'm truly passionate about. And to me, that was, that was education. Um, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today without education. Um, so I, ever since 2011, you know, I built a parent resource room for um, Flagler Elementary. It's the first of its kind in the Lyons County School System. Um, last year, I was able to put together the first teacher appreciation dinner, and we honored all the teachers of the year for both the Valdosta and the Lyons, Lyons County School System. Um, we raised over $28,000 for our teachers to be put back in the classroom. Um, but more importantly, while the money was great and it's beneficial, most importantly, that dinner was to celebrate and honor these teachers. You know, these last five years have been morale's been down, you know, budgets been cut, and that was just a small way that we could give back as a community to let these teachers know that we care. You know, I, I've got multiple letters from teachers from both the Lyons County and Velocity City School System who told me how much they appreciated that dinner and how much it meant to them as a teacher to know that as a community we cared what they do. You know, I mean, to me that was that was proof that 
that, that dinner was worth every bit of it. You know, for two years it took me to get that dinner put together. And a lot of people told me, hey, you, you, it can't be done here. You know, you're trying to put the Lowndes County Schools and the Wallace City Schools together. It'll never work. And well, I'm here to tell you it works. You know, I never gave up on it. I never gave up on anything in my life. And I stuck with it. And you know, to see those teacher spaces was worth every dinner of it. And now it's become an annual event. Uh, I'm working on this year's dinner. Um, so if any organizations out there interested in sponsoring the table to benefit the Lowndes County Schools and the Lowndes City Schools, come see me afterwards. I think it's going to be a great event. Um, as a potential board member, my vision is to have a strong public school system where students master technology, teachers are empowered, and each budget dollars maximized. I plan to increase the role of public and private partnerships with VSU, Wiregrass, and Muni Air Force Base. I feel these partnerships are critical to having a successful school system and a growing community. With the help and support of the entire community, we can build a better education system for our youth, which will have a direct impact on our economy. We're, we'll be able to attract high-wage employers who are acquiring well-educated, highly-skilled workforce. You know, you hear from some, you know, from the chamber, from Myrna, from the industrial authority. There's so many. All the times you hear is, we cannot attract new business to the Los Georgia. Well, it always comes down to, we don't have a skilled labor force. We don't have this. We don't have that. Well, it all starts with education. You know, like I said, I wouldn't be where I am here today without education. You know, growing up here in Valasta, I wasn't, I wasn't the brightest kid. I wasn't the smartest kid. And I was considered one of those high, at-risk kids growing up. And you know, but those teachers, they never gave up on me. They said, Eric, you know, if you, if you continue to work hard, do what you need to do, I think the sky's the limit. And so they never gave up on me. So I'm here today as their biggest advocate and supporter to say, you know what? I'm here to help you. I'm here to help grow our, our city's, our Lyons County school system, and I'm here to help Lyons County schools and Valasa be a better place to live and work. You know, like I said, you know, in, it was 1997 when I graduated here, and Ms. Ruddle, several other LSH teachers, they sat me down and said, Eric, you know, you're on a path to possibly not graduate. You're on a path to not be a successful productive member of society. That, it's at that point when I realized that, you know what, I need to take my life in my own hands. I need to go back and really think what I want to do. And that's when I decided I want to go to the city. I wanted that, I wanted that education. I wanted the leadership. I wanted that discipline. I want to be able to take that experience and be able to come back here and implement that. And let these kids know that no matter where you're from, how much money your parents make, I mean, if you work hard, you educate yourself, and you never quit, you can do whatever you want to do. Now, I believe in our public school education because, again, I'm a product of Lyons High School. I'm a product of this town. And to give you a little background, if you don't, those don't know, my mother's Filipino and my father's Caucasian. And in the Philippines, a public school education goes to the sixth grade. So if you think about that, there are you that are teachers out there. So after sixth grade, if you're born, if you're born and living in the Philippines, you have to work to finish your 7th, 8th grade, and your high school. Well, my mother came from a family of 13 kids. So if you think about it, her, her dad couldn't afford to send all 12, 13 kids to school. So 7th and 8th grade, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade, she had to work to make sure she had to finish her, her education there in the Philippines. And while she finished her education and got her high school degree, she went off. And also she married my father when we moved here to the States. But she always told me, Eric, if you just educate yourself, the sky's the limit. You know, when we moved here to Valasta, we all know how competitive it is here in Valasta. So a high school diploma from a third world country, you can imagine what kind of job opportunities are available for someone like that. So while I was playing soccer at Lyons High School, and I'd love to look up in the stands and see my mother out there, so um, it wasn't possible because she was down there on the north side. Um, excuse me, sorry. She was on North Side Drive with Van Terre Salon, paint nails. You know, she did that seven days a week from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock at night with food on the table for me, my brother, and my sister. So, you know, she never gave up on me, and she worked hard. I got my work ethic from her. She always told me, Eric, like I said, please, just educate yourself, and you can do whatever you want to do. And I'm sorry, I couldn't be there for you, but at the end of the day, I'm here to make sure I, I can give you money so you can go to school. And I mean, that's exactly what she did. And, now, to me, her, my work ethic and everything I learned, I learned from her. She never quit. She never gave up. While she wasn't college educated, you know, she worked hard. And every day she's out there working hard for me, my brother, and my sister. So, 
Now, regardless of whether you vote for me, Mark Barber, or Terry Parker, like I said, I think everyone here, we're not here for agendas, we're all here for the right cause, but we're here to support our teachers. Our teachers and our youth, obviously, are, are the most important part of this community. You know, these teachers are, are educating the future leaders of this community. If we don't work together as a team, as a community, you know, you know Jim and I spoke earlier, I mean, you know, for 10, 15 years, we've always been talking about, you know, we need to make our lives better, we need to bring business here. But really, it all starts right here, right now, with all these people in this room, if we all work together to support education, these kids will have a shot. So those at-risk kids like me that were the 30% that get lost in the shuffle, those kids, if given a shot, can be a productive member of this community. And 20 years from now, they can come back here and be the biggest supporters of the school system. Um, to me, that's, so whether you vote for me or vote for them, let's vote for our teachers. And, uh, on April 28th, you know, voting begins. But like I said, I, I'm here because I'm, I want to support our schools. I, I want to support our teachers. You know, Mark talked about our, the numbers of our school system. You know, last since 2010, that our state assembly has basically been taking a billion dollars away from our school system, uh, or from, the, from the state of Georgia. And here locally, that's almost about half a million dollars, or 500 million dollars since 2010 that we have been So you think of all that money that's been taken away from our, from our schools and from our teachers, Teachers have been furloughed, fur morale is down, but yet our school system has been able to produce a graduation rate every three, the last three years have been higher each and every year. I mean, that's, a, that's an astronomical feat for these teachers. I mean, you think of what they, they're put in day in and day out, and yet they're still able to produce a graduation rate higher than it was the previous year. With the cuts is where they are, funding down. So I'm here to basically help those teachers out, and again, it all starts with collaboration. We all work together as a team, Wiregrass, BSU, New Air Force Base, the private sector, Bus people like me that are you know, in, the in the private sector working at Guardian Bank. You know, we need to go in the classroom and show, show these kids, hey, how to balance a check. Well, here, here's Finance 101, how to read a credit report. And so if there's more people like that would be active and go into our schools and say, hey, you know, Mark, go in there. Hey, here's, here's how the city ball officer. Here, Here's how we run finance out here. I mean, stuff like that, these kids have no clue how to do that stuff, you know? And so I said, well, they should be getting that home. Well, if they're, they come from a family like me, you didn't get that at home. So if you don't get it at school, you'll never get it. So I, I didn't learn that until I went to the Citadel, and it was forced on me to the structured environment of the military. And that, to me, that was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. But anyway, um, I know I'm kind of rambling a little bit, but I just want to say, I, I'm here to support our schools, and I support myself, Mark, and Tara, I think we're all great people, so thank you.